Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to relink your bitmaps without the use of a plugin. There's a video I've done on this channel where I showed you how you can use the relink bitmap to relink, okay, to relink your bitmaps without any stress. But sometimes this this relink bitmap doesn't work, not how we want it to. Let me just show you what I mean by that. I'm just going to bring in number 13, merge it. I'm gonna close that. And I'm going to bring in say 15 i'm going to move it aside yeah so when i open this relink bitmap now and i try to relink this first of all i'm just going to open this okay and then copy the directory open this and then paste it in there select folder open it again and i'm going to go back and then select the texture folder okay i don't even have to be this precise but i want to show you that okay i'm at the precise folder but it will still not relink when i click click this relink button as you can see it has not relinked any of these maps so when i say okay let me do an interactive render for this i'm going to find out hold on first I need to go and put some light in this scene. So I'm gonna go over to scene, set it to single. And then let me turn off this scene. We don't need it, none. That is the denoiser, the thing that starts the denoiser when you're doing interactive rendering. Okay, so I'm gonna close this and I'm going to shift this to one side. So as you can see, there are a lot of errors that came out here. You can see the first six errors are the one telling us that this this object has material that are not supported. Okay, V-ray material, of course we're using Corona uh, renderer. V-ray material is not supported. So you can actually use this error message to find out the object that is affected. So when I click on this, it is going to select this. So the first three message, error messages all belongs to this. Why the third three error messages now belongs to this. So you can use this to find out the object that is affected by the error message so i'm going to stop this and i'm going to go over here and click on this this is to the corona converter so when i click on it i'll just select make sure that i set to everything because i want to convert everything you know to corona material and because i'm sure there's no metal in this tree i can just set it to force no metal and then i hit convert all right that has converted it so now let me close this in when i do an interactive render again you are going to see this tree okay it is no longer giving us this even though these error messages are showing these are from the old one okay these are from the old message so we have fixed it as you can see now let's look at the next error message that will pop that popped up the wired access could not be located that means all these maps you can see jpegs all of them are missing which is why this tree is looking like this now there are ways we can fix this okay the first way that i talked about is relink bitmap and both of us have seen that it doesn't work not for this particular case all right so another way you can do this is to open up your material editor all right like so i'm going to stop this interactive rendering i'm going to stop this so i'll open up this material and i'm going to use this you know material pick material from object the material picker and i'm going to click on this and it's going to bring out all the material that i used for this part for that particular tree now i'm going to click on this and now i'm going to click here i'm going to paste this there and open it but then i have to go back so i can get to the texture you know directory so i'm going to say open and it's going to relink only that one now imagine i have to do this thing for all this okay i have to do it for all these maps that are missing here that's a lot of work and imagine you have a lot of trees from that same folder inside this place it is all going to be a lot of work and a lot of stressful work now i'm going to show you how you can do this you know easily and how you can set it so that you don't have to do it ever again whenever you bring in anything from that you know particular folder anything that has texture from that particular folder it is just going to like find it for you and you're going to render easily now let's do that okay so now when you come let me minimize this when you come down here in this error message you're going to see open asset tracking okay asset tracking is what 3ds mass 
put in inside 3ds max so that you can use it to track your asset and relink them when you need to mind you i said asset so it's not only image that you will track and relink sometimes you might have to relink the proxies that are inside here but that might be a video for another day all right so let's go ahead and show you show you where it is so you go to file you are going to see asset tracking in the reference and then come down here you see asset tracking when you click on it something like this will come out and when it does always refresh you cannot actually click here to refresh or you can right click and refresh from here all right or you we could have just clicked here that would have still brought us you know into the same windows all right or you can just hit shift t on your keyboard all of them will still bring you inside this place we have only relinked one through that tedious means inside the material editor you can see it is the only one writing okay here now i can just do this select as much as i want to or i can even select all of them but i want to show you something as using the remaining ones and then right click go to set path okay click here and then okay this is the part the part to the image but assuming i do not know the part of this to the to the textures i could have just come here selected this copied minimize it and then put it inside here paste it inside here and then say use part when i say that and hit ok you are going to see it has found all those textures for us you can see it is written ok all right so when i do that you find out that this is beginning to take shape all right it is beginning to have more color to it meaning some maps are beginning to enter but I want a situation whereby if I bring in any match, any model from that same place that have texture in this same folder, it is going to, you know, recognize and find the, the textures for me, even without me doing this. And when I'm done and I will save this scene, it is going to save inside the memory of the 3DS mask that whenever I bring out, bring up something from that same folder, it is going to remember it. Now, how do I do that? So I'll just right click and you can see configure project packs here. Okay, is it that I do it like this or I just come over here to part, you see configure project packs here, or I can even do it from customize. You will see configure project packs from here. All of them will lead you into this place okay where each one anyone you choose to follow is going to lead you into this place so you do not even need to come in from here you could have just gone to customize and then come down to the customized project path now what we need to link are external files all right so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to select external files now i'm going to click on add for you to add it for me now i'm going to paste that directory and i'm going to use path when i do that and i'll say okay now i will just have to refresh when i refresh you'll find out that it is written found which means that all these maps are found okay it doesn't really make much difference from okay because if i should stop this interactive render now and resume it again you find out that all the maps will be showing now so when you see found or you see okay it is still the same thing now let me show you what i mean by Anything I bring in now, I don't have to relink it again because I've customized the project part. All right, so I'm just gonna close this now, okay? And also stop this and close this. All right, let's go ahead and bring in a new model from this same place. I'm going to bring in this one now, this is 18, okay? Let me just keep it like this so I can bring it in. Bring in 18 and merge it. Okay, I'm just gonna close this. You can see, while coming in, it already has the material all attached to it. I do not even need to do anything. All I have to do now is just to select the Corona converter and come, because it's still V-Ray material, mind you, and then convert everything to, you know, Corona material. Now, when if I should render, you're going to see it over there. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you, you, you learned a lot. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a like. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Not only subscribing, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Okay, consider joining the channel membership so you can help support this video and help me create more quality content like this one. All right, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one.